Hello everyone, I'm Troll J and welcome to Brain Food at the Movies, where I just finished watching Maya Glick's Kickstarter project fan film of Storm called Rain. And I have to say, this is the storm we should have had in all those X-Men movies for so long. No offense meant to Hal Berry, she did the best that she could with what material there was. Unfortunately, the material presented to her wasn't all that good. Rain is a fan-made film about Storm that incorporates elements of other storylines, such as the famous one from the X-Men called There Was Once a Girl Who Could Fly, and is based around the time when a government agent, Peter Gyrick, used a weapon made by Forge that could rob mutants of their powers, and he shot it at Storm. This resulted in Storm losing her powers for a short time and ushered in the age of the best Storm costume ever, punk rock Storm with the mohawk. Now, overall, this film was just fantastic. For a little bit of history, there was the initial Kickstarter campaign, which I was a part of, and then some time later, a second Kickstarter campaign that I also contributed to. And I'm really glad I did. This storm is absolutely amazing. The basic story is that Storm is recovering from a stint with the MNI, the Mutant Normalization Institute, which not only robs mutants of their power, but also erases their memory. And thus, this story is of her regaining her character and her inner strength. I don't want to say much more than that because I don't want to spoil it for anyone else, but it's a fabulous journey that this character goes on, and Maya Glick plays Aurora Monroe perfectly. I wish that this is the storm that we had in the movies. Unfortunately, I don't think we're even going to get that storm in Apocalypse, despite uh, the actress that's playing her having the mohawk. After all, when we see her, she shows up as a slave of Apocalypse. Great casting there, Fox. Great decision making. Uh, there was a whole lot to really enjoy about this film. Uh, for the artistic style of it, it put me in mind of, uh, of honestly, the uh, Frank Miller movies, The Sin City. It had that distinct, it had a distinct style to it, which I felt just add this incredible atmosphere to the story and uh, the story itself very simple very straightforward but powerfully done by Maya Glick's acting here and so far as I know I'm uh, this she was never really a, a, an actor before she's actually a you know a singer a singer songwriter she has her own uh, rock band she also did martial arts and there were even some, it was, and within the story, you actually see some of the uh, personal elements from her own life brought into this story. What I couldn't help but feel about the story as I was watching it is that it definitely continues on the tradition of the X Men as being a metaphor for oppressed groups uh, in, in our society. During the 60s, you know, Stan, uh, Stan Lee, when he made the X Men, it was about, you know, uh, racism. And he said, we're with him even basing Charles Xavier on Dr. Martin Luther King and Magneto off of Malcolm X. He said they were never truly bad guys. They were just people on different ends of the spectrum solving a major problem. And as time came along, we've seen uh, that morph and change to representing gay people. And with this film, I honestly think it's a really good men metaphor for everything that just seems to be blowing up with regards to transgender people. You know, how, how they're trying to police them and uh, uh, tell them, no, don't go in this bathroom, you go in this bathroom according to the gender on your birth certificate and, and everything like that. So it was really good to see that tradition carried on in this fan film. Oh, and the, the, I, the transformation of Storm from someone who is just got out of the uh, you know mutant normalization institute and from uh, changed from just not knowing who she is you know her powers are gone and 
getting uh, getting into that outfit that she remembers more and more about herself. Oh, that oh, Maya Lick looks absolutely beautiful in that outfit, and she's just absolutely badass. It, it I always thought that at one point where she's fighting some thugs to save another release of the MNI. It, it felt like a call out to the time where she, where Storm actually led the X Men without any powers when she was punk rocker Storm. And there's definitely some great homages to classic storylines. There are definitely a couple of fun Easter eggs. I highly recommend you keep your uh, keep an eye out for, such as the uh, uh, such at one point you see, um, uh, geez. You see, spray painted on the side of a wall. Magneto was right because in this in this continuity of this story, the M and I is, you know, they're they're across America. You know, they're wiping out mutant kind person by person. Again, I don't want to say too much because even in this excitement, I don't want to give too much away. It is, God, it's now out. You can see it for yourself. Uh, I also, I'll provide a, a link in the description and in the posting of this video. You really should see this film. This film is, is powerful. It's wonderfully done. It has a great, it has a great art style to it that is unique and distinct to the story it's telling. I, I can't, honestly can't say enough good things about it because again, I don't want to spoil you. One thing I will say just like with any other, well, in this case, Marvel-based movie, stay till after the credits. Watch the entire thing right to the credits. It's really good. I'm Triple J. That's all I got left to say. Take care.